What is poppin' your boy? Roger Will do cool. I gotta hurry up. I don't have a lot of time on my phone. I've been trying to upload a video to YouTube and they've been blocking me trying to upload my video. It just keeps spinning wheel. I'll start, then it'll start spinning wheel, spinning wheel. So I don't have a lot of time to do this, so I'm gonna do it real quick. The name of this video is why I was about to get rid of, of my Rickenbacker Walnut 2017. And now while I'm gonna keep it. Now a lot of people, um, I'm just persistent on me getting stuff right. I mean, before I went to bed last night, I'm dealing with this. I shouldn't have to deal with that that much. Let me flip this thing a little bit more because we're going to turn a little bit more in a couple of minutes real quick. So, so basically what was happening was my action was like super high. It was like crazy. So what I was doing was I was setting the action on the bridge with these dumb little screws they have here. That's why everybody want to change this bridge to whatever that other bridge is that you want to talk about. But I like this bridge because I want whatever came to this unit is going to be on this unit. It's a walnut unit. I just got it from Guitar Center. Thanks to my man Tom, Eli, and I forgot who else was on the receipt. And John. But I was really despondent about this because I wanted to get rid of it. Tomorrow was going to be, be the day. If they couldn't set this up the way I wanted, I was going to be done with it. I got it up for sale right now actually on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, offer up and is on Craigslist to get rid of this. Actually, I entertained also a trade with this young man who has a bass I really like. I've been wanting that bad boy for the last three months, which is a Spectre um, 4LX. So tonight I'm like, yo, I got a 4LX. You got the 4LX. I said, I'll trade you for this. You give me $200 in your bass, I'll give you this. For the first time, he's like, okay, I'll think about it. Other than that, it was like, Sixteen fifty will leave me alone. Sixteen fifty will leave me alone, right? But now, because it was all about, I couldn't get this action right. So let me tell you the secret to getting the action of a Rickenbacker right. And I'm not even a Rickenbacker guy, but I had to figure out. So what was happening last night? I was, I was setting the action on the bridge on these little dumb looking bridge things, right? I was setting the action to the way I like it, right? So then what would happen was, I would set it up and then I'll string, I'll tighten up the B string. And it'll be too low, it'll be buzzing, right? So I'll undo the screw a little bit, and tighten it up a little bit more, turn it a little bit more, then it'll come up there, and it'll be just fine, right? So then I'll do the G string, same thing, because I know the ones in the middle gotta follow suit, right? So you got these two right here, they gotta follow suit. So I will let the joint down, it will be nice. But as soon as I start tuning up the A and the D, then all of a sudden, the brain, it will reach, it will just, just be tired. It'll be high all again. I'm just so excited, man. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It'll be high again. And the thing be high is I don't know what. I'm like, Dad, Gordon, I just set it up when I had the E and the D, I mean, E and the G string, and they were fine. But as soon as I tightened up the rest of the strings, everybody had to tighten up, the action went high again. So naturally, I'm like, okay. Well, instead of doing that, why don't we just set the action to low? Let's go ahead on and screw them bad boys out to like that much of the screw hitting the freaking uh, plate on the bottom, right? So I let it all out. And then I did the E string. And it buzzed a little bit on the F and the G and the G sharp. So I'm like, or the, or the e, A flat, what do you want to call it? It buzzed, right? Bzz, bzz. I'm like, fine, let it buzz. Did the G string, same thing, beep, beep, buzz. Because I figured every time I tighten it up, once I tighten it up, it's going back to the crazy high action. So I, I turn it to the real low. And then when I tighten up the strings, bam, perfect. Perfect, baby. The action is perfect. I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong outlet. Am I, no, I'm in the right outlet. What the heck? So what you heard was the neck pickup, both, the back pickup bridge, and then the vintage pullout for the tone. You just heard that real quick, right? So that's the deal. I'm keeping her now. She's beautiful. So now, the cool thing.
thing about this is, the cool thing about this is what happened was, or the uncool thing about this is, what happened was, I messed around, I was wiping down the neck because I got all the black stuff on my neck because I honeybee, I honeybeed everything, and then the blackness came off the string and got all on my finger, then it got on the neck. So I took a cloth and I wiped all the black stuff off the neck because it's a maple neck. All of a sudden the strings went dead. Now, next, let's go. Y'all ready?